In today's video, I'll be sharing the travel accessories that I have bought for myself only to realize that they were pretty useless. These are the eight travel things that you should not be wasting your money on. The first useless travel item on the list is something that is very common and you can see in every single airport store. A travel neck pillow. Neck pillows might seem like a comfortable and practical way to sleep on a long haul flight, but they can actually cause more discomfort than good. They put your neck in an unnatural position and cause muscle strain, leading to a stick neck and even headaches on arrival at your destination. They are also extremely bulky and you'll need to carry this around with you for your entire trip. There are also inflatable neck pillows that you could use as an alternative, but if you have ever tried one, you already know that they are not very good. Try simply resting your head against the seat back headrest since they are often able to bend to support your head and some will even go up and down to adjust to your height. The second useless travel item that you think you need but definitely do not need would be a travel towel. While they may be small to carry and dry quick, they also suck at actually drying your body after a shower or a swim. You had one job. And if you are staying in a hotel or an Airbnb, you will most likely have towels that you can use. If you are staying somewhere that does not have towels provided, you can buy one. A towel is not expensive and buying one at your destination is going to save you from having to lug around a subpar travel towel that doesn't actually do anything for you. If you are known as the traveler among your group of friends, you have probably received a passport cover as a gift at one point or another only to actually use it and realize that it causes more trouble than it has benefits. Passport holders might look pretty and make for a nice gift, but they are not at all practical. The nice casings need to be removed in order for your passport to be scanned, which can cause delays and lead to unnecessary stress as you annoy the agent trying to scan it. Airport and airline staff also like to put identifying stickers, little red and blue circles, on your passport which they also will not put on the case and therefore need to remove it as well. It can also be distracting if you're fumbling about trying to take the passport cover off and then put it back on. And if you are distracted and stressed, you will be more prone to theft as well as an airport search as you now look suspicious. It's not worth it. The next pretty useless but very popular travel item would be a physical guidebook. Guidebooks are outdated the moment that they hit the shelves and are not a reliable source of information. They are also heavy to carry around, especially when we have up-to-date resources available at a moment's notice from our devices with travel blogs and forums or even Google Maps if you are looking for recommendations and directions. They can be fun to keep around your home for inspiration, but they're just not very practical for travel. Let us know down in the comments if you have ever received or bought a travel item that ended up being useless. I certainly have, as I have previously owned everything on this list. I do not have them all here to show you since I have donated them. I have a small apartment. A camera is another travel item that you will probably regret spending your money on. Cameras are bulky to carry around and you often need extra accessories like the batteries, connection cords, or even an adapter for the memory card to connect with most laptops. And unless you intend to really invest some money in a quality camera, your smartphone probably has better picture quality than most cameras do. And the way our phones connect to online clouds also keeps your photos safe by backing them up as you go with no additional cords or connections needed. Most of the travel bottle sets that you see on Amazon or at department stores are also not very practical. Most travel sets are going to come with these standard plastic containers, which are not very practical to use or to clean. The small openings can make it difficult to pour in liquids and they can also leak or spill in your luggage if they are not high quality. The bottles are also often way bigger than you would actually need for your trip. A luggage scale is another item that we travelers think we need, but really don't. Luggage scales are not necessary for most travelers, especially if you plan to travel with carry-on luggage since many airlines don't even have weight limits for carry-on luggage anymore. The main reason that these are going to be a waste of money and space is because you can just use a bathroom scale to weigh your luggage when needed. I find it quite awkward to get a suitcase onto a bathroom scale, so what I'll do instead is I will weigh myself, and then I will pick up my suitcase and step back onto the scale and see what the difference in weight is. 
that is going to be the weight of your suitcase. This is also how I weigh Ollie. He's a healthy 42 pounds. Thanks for asking. The next thing that you may think you will benefit from as a traveler would be vacuum seal bags for packing. Vacuum seal bags might seem like a great way to save space in your luggage, but they have some pretty significant downsides. All of your clothes are going to be creased. Very strongly creased. They are also a pain to get stuff into and out of during your trip. These are great for home storage, but not for travel, especially when there are other space-saving and organizational options that are meant for travelers and serve the same purpose much more effectively, which is actually a great topic for another video. Don't forget to let us know down in the comments which travel items you think are a waste of money. Maybe you disagree with me, which is totally fine. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye.